Good evening, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another full case break of 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Football and a St. Nick gift giveaway as well. This is 12 box. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Got another full caser in the store right now. There it is. Pick your team six. TC with the double last ball mojo grabbing the Cardinals and the Bills. Thanks to everybody else too for getting into the action. Appreciate it. This has been marinating for a little while. So let's see if we can get some monster hits out of here. So far, this stuff has been great. So I would think, I would think yes. One autograph per box. No hot boxes or anything like that. But one autograph per box. Ton of parallels. And even though this break takes a minute or two, it uh, never seems as long as it actually is. Let me actually set up the schedule here. So now that we're starting this break around this time, we should be able to have another break going by around there. If you look in the chat, you'll be able to see it if you're watching live. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, that timing doesn't really matter to you. All right. Good luck, everyone. Pick your team six. This break should be done in about an hour or so. About five minutes a box. So we should be ready for the next break at around that time, around 7.15 Pacific on a Thursday night, which should be plenty of time to fill up another break. We've got a number of breaks that are marching closer and closer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So get your teams, build some momentum. We've got 1819 um, Panini Contenders Basketball. Checklist is out and in the chat. Check it out. 14 teams left on that one. A lot of legends in this set. So give that a shot. For baseball fans, we've got some Bowman Draft Baseball in single digits and... We have that Bowman's best baseball down to four teams. Only four teams left in that Bowman's best baseball. It's about a half hour break. Pick your team number nine. Check that out. That's a relatively new release as well. And football fans, if you want to do another Donner's Optic football, which is also another St. Nick break, get a gift chance, another chance at a gift there. 11 teams away. So we can actually do that tonight. And then if we do Dynasty Baseball, we'll, we'll give away the last three gifts tonight if you'd like. And Rick's saying that Prism Basketball, down to 12 as well if you want to do that Prism Basketball mixer. A lot of things on the site, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Go get it. Contenders Random Teams are available as well. We've got more autographed football jerseys in the store. Those are the, those, oh, there it's right there. Those little boxes right there. Autographed jerseys from Leaf. We got that available. We've got an end-of-year eight-box football mixer featuring a full-size football helmet, it looks like. That's pretty cool. And we're giving away a box of Dynasty in that two-box Bowman draft mixer. All right, so plenty of things to do. Just go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, browse around, and I'm sure we'll do something at some point. There's Russell Wilson, Dangerous, from downtown. There's Jalen Samuels as well. So we'll sleeve and top-load these. Our shipping crew will take care of that. We'll set those aside just so this break goes a little bit more quickly. Who's got the Seahawks? Tice. Tice. Bop. With Dangerous. Seahawks definitely looking dangerous. As much as I want to watch the natural, I've seen it a lot. I'm just going to go to some uh, some basketball. What do we have here? I think the Lakers are playing tonight. There we go. Good pre-game show going. All right, so nice to Russell Wilson. There's our autograph coming up. There's Lights Camera Action to 199. Your autograph is going to be John Kelly, rated rookie. 
on card autograph for the Rams. Derek for the Rams. There's Auden Tate for the Bengals out of 50. Jaden with the Bengals. Leonard Fournette for the Jaguars out of 299. And Andy Dalton for the Bengals out of 149. All right, I'll go on the other side here. Next box. Good luck. It's weird to say this, but I think the Rams kind of underachieved a little bit this season, right? Kind of weird to say it like that, but I feel like... Um, I feel like everyone thought well they won the they won the off season. Right? They signed a bunch of a bunch of big names, but I guess I'm really speaking of Indomitian Soup really hasn't been as impactful. Now maybe maybe he his influence is what gives Aaron Donald room to operate in the way he does. But I feel like that defense has fallen short just a little bit of what I think people thought their potential would be. I remember over the summer when all these moves were going down, people were like, well, you know, Rams are going to be like shutting out teams. You know, their teams aren't going to score more than more than 10 points against these guys. Now, obviously, they did fine this season. But we'll see how that carries through in the playoffs. Playoffs? Which is almost upon us, ladies and gentlemen. But Los Angeles very excited about this. What if what if it was a Rams Chargers Super Bowl? That'd be kind of crazy. Imagine that. I'm sure the NFL would love to rig it that way. There's Mike White. Imagine the ratings to 299. And a downtown Sam Darnold. And that will go to Rick Barker, who tried Browns in the previous break and said, hey, I'm going to we'll try Jets this break. And I guess she's a fan of the Patriots? Interesting. I'll go to the Pats, of course. You think Ram Charge would be the worst Super Bowl ever? There's Deion Kane. I could think of worse Super Bowls. I could think of... What about... <laughs> there's Mariota to 199. What about... What about a Texans... Texans Seahawks Super Bowl? Out of 149. I know, I saw I noticed that too, Jaden. Yeah, she's from Queens. But yet I don't know. Regardless, the Emmy Emmy winning DiMatteo doesn't have ties to New York's NFL squads. She's just a she's just a front runner. There's Eli Manning out of 299. There's Return of the Mac, Marlon Mac. There's Michael Thomas to 50. That goes to the Saints. That'll be for Karen Steele. 
Oh, you're 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 saying that if it was just all if it was just both Los Angeles, well, LA is a pretty big city. Just the LA ratings alone. Although no one, I guess no one supports the Chargers. All right, your redemption is rated rookie autographs purple, Denzel Ward. And that will be, where's my pen here? Denzel Ward going to the Browns. Rich, Rich W with the Browns. Woj Tasik. I hope I got it right, Rich. There you go, man. Uh, that's a, that's a, I think Denzel Ward's in the conversation for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Dave Barrows is saying a worse Super Bowl would be Niners Chargers. Uh, Niners aren't even in this in the conversation for the playoffs. I'm trying to think what the word what what would be the word of the playoff teams that are remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have let's let's have this conversation. Kham saying as long as the Pats don't go, I'll watch. Um, of the current playoff teams and whatever teams you assume will be will capture the last couple of playoff spots, what would be the worst? Super Bowl, like ratings wise. Well, maybe not even. Just let's forget ratings. Well, just just in general, what would be like the worst Super Bowl? The one that neutral as a neutral fan, like you just wouldn't care about. Like we can. It, it could be whether it's whether you think it's ratings or whether just be, as a neutral fan, would you care or not? What do you, what do you what do you think? What would be a just a not interesting Super Bowl, where the teams aren't very. Exciting per se. Colts Vikings says EA. Andrew Luck in a Super Bowl would be pretty fun, but I guess I guess that could be a pretty bland, um, pretty bland uh, Super Bowl, I guess. Hi Grace. I don't know. I don't know if Vanilla Gorilla is here in the room. Maybe he is. K Ham says Ravens Eagles. Yeah, that's a that's a bird team game that would not be. Yeah, nothing really exciting. I mean, because Lamar Jackson, that'd be pretty exciting to see him run around, slinging a little bit, those wobbly passes. Yeah, that, uh, but yeah, Ravens Eagles doesn't sound. The rest of Team Jaspies would be happy. Nick Jaspie would be happy. His Eagles back in the Super Bowl. Imagine that. Chase Edmonds, Colts Titans, Washington Redskins, and are the Redskins gonna make it? No, I think they have no chance, right? Anyone in the Patriots as EA? Yeah, I think we've all seen enough Patriots in the Super Bowl. Mike White, 299. Eli Manning, to 299. Jordan Wilkins. There's Big Ben Rothsberger out of 199. And Alvin Kamara, green, three out of five. Nice. Karen Steele with the Saints. Karen. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Lights, Kamara, action. We'll see him in the playoffs. along with his teammate Drew Brees. And your autograph is Dion Kane. Lou with the Colts. There's Troy Fumagalli out of two ninety nine for the Broncos. And there you go, another box in the books. K 
Kevin's a Ke Kham's a Steelers guy. Kevin, what happened with the uh, what happened with the Steelers this season? Kind of a kind of a weird season for them. Did did real did that whole Le'Veon Bell issue really disrupt the season that much? They're eight. They're eight six and one. We've got eight. You know, chance chance at at nine wins this year. But I don't know. It just hasn't seemed quite right. Big Ben just getting older, maybe. Is it a coaching thing? Maybe defense hasn't been the same without Chazier. I feel like they can't quite get over that that last hump or two to get to get to get to the promised land to get that chip. Oh, is it? It's my Raiders' fault. They lost to the Raiders, and that just kind of kind of ruined that momentum. Defense falls apart in the fourth. How do you feel about Mike Tomlin? Is he? Is it time for a change, or or keep going? Good luck, Troy Fumagalli, out of 299. Jack wants a shout out for your birthday. I have, I need proof that it's your birthday. All right, there's Sean Lee, to 199. Got some elite series right there. Any guesses on this redemption? Okay, I'm saying Tomlin, I'd say, is still good. Some dumb play choices, but overall, I think it's good with the players. He is kind of a, a master motivator, I think. Out of 149, Luke Falk. Rashad Penny to 149. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes. Is this your MVP? Let's talk about MVP. Is this your MVP right there? There's Devontae Adams to 149. And your redemption is going to be, bam, Michael Gallup. Rated rookie autographs red, which I think might be out of 99. That goes to the Dallas Cowboys. Chris Parent on the board with the Cowboys receiver who's been... Showed some flashes of of brilliance there. Right, let's put these parallels away. Like I said, our our shipping team will take care of those. Sleeve those up, top load those serial numbered cards. David, are you saying for sure for Drew Brees? As EA is suggesting? Or, or my homies, Patrick Mahomes. Um, Drew Brees, David Allison saying Mahomes. Kham also saying, I'd say he's the MVP. No one else really sticks out. I See, I wonder if they may give it to, to Drew Brees um, because... As almost like a legacy award, it's like Mar it's like Scorsese getting you know an Oscar for uh, for The Departed. We don't do shout outs here, Jack. Sorry, it's not our not not a thing that I do. Otherwise, everyone's gonna be asking for shout outs. Then all the people I've denied before will be like, "How come you gave Jack a shout out? 
I mean, he gets one. I don't. So I've just said no. It's easier that way. Not that kind of show. Uh, Paul Hutchins says his birthday is July 20th. Would like a shout out then. And, you, and you're going to give me plenty of notice. We'll get that on the calendar, Paul. We'll get that on the calendar. Anyway, like Scorsese will get a uh, will get a legacy, you know, we'll get a legacy sort of MVP, right? Or a uh, Oscar, that is. Scorsese's not going to win an MVP. Scorsese will get like a legacy Oscar, right, for like The Departed, even though he should have won for like Goodfellas or something like that. So, I feel like uh, I feel like that'll happen with that could happen with Drew Brees. You know, he hasn't won an MVP yet, so there, there might be like... But I don't know. Patrick Mahomes has had a pretty stellar season, though. Uh, oh, Paul Hutchins. Big 5-0 in July. Well, keep me posted. There's the Reese Fountain of Youth. 22 out of 50. That'll be for the Colts. That'll go to Lou. And your autograph is Minka Fitzpatrick. So that this is a, a red autograph, and it's 27 out of 50. So that Michael Gallup might be out of 50 as well. I'm sure the checklist will say. Cardboardconnection.com. 27 out of 50. Dolphins, Michael Gallucci with that one. There's Shaquem Griffin to 299. Yeah, I don't think Hunt's going to be winning any awards anytime soon, except for that. Jordan Wilkins, Colts. Jack's asking you if I think the Browns make the playoffs next year. Uh, maybe. I mean, I mean, you know, Ravens have made a lot of it. It'll depend, I think. You know, does Lamar Jackson take it to the, you know, continue improving next season? What do they do with the coaching in Baltimore? Maybe maybe that coaching Harbaugh situation changes a little bit. Maybe he stays. I don't know. Will the re defense be as strong for the Ravens? If so, they'll be Ravens will be pretty tough next year. You know, will the Steelers bounce back? Probably. There's Bilal Powell. Golden Tate the third for the Lions out of ninety nine. So that's a tough division. I I can't really see. The Bengals making a huge turnaround. But and if if Baker Mayfield can adjust to the defense is adjusting to him now that there's a whole season of tape on on Baker Mayfield. Let's see how they draft. Let's see, you know, what, what let's see who they hire as a new coach. That'll be a big deal too. Who's the new coach for the Browns next year? Do they keep the same team? Do they get someone else? Draft picks, free agent signings, all that sort of stuff comes into play. A a AFC North, yeah, K I agree with you, Kevin. I was going to say that AFC North is a pretty tight division, so it's going to take, you know, it's, it's really going to be more relative to to other to the other teams just as, just as much as how much the Browns improve as well. Jack saying, I feel like uh, the Brown if the Browns fired Hugh Jackson earlier, they would have made it this year. Yeah, they got pretty close. If that tie ended up being a W, you know, maybe a couple other, maybe, uh, what was that, Saints game, I think, that where the kicker missed a game-winning field goal? Is that two wins right there? Game of inches. What's the, uh, I wish I knew the Al Pacino um I wish I knew the Al Pacino speech from any given Sunday. Game of Inches, the Game of Inches speech. Uh, JB is asking, what's the best chief I've pulled in the last eight weeks? <laughs> uh, I barely remember what I pulled yesterday, JB. I don't know. I think we, we pulled a... What was that? What, didn't we pull a Patrick Mahomes? Like, it wasn't autoed. But didn't we pull a Patrick Mahomes out of five? 
out of here that looked like the Alvin Kamara. Which would go for like a lot, I think, on a secondary market. I think we pulled one of those. That might be one of the one of the ones that stick out. I'm not sure. Yeah, out of five, David is saying, yeah. That might be one of our better ones over the last eight weeks. Yeah, it's it's been a minute, JB. Welcome back. I think uh, you know you can take some time, watch a bunch of videos. Marcel eight mint to one ninety nine. The best rookie I've pulled the past couple of breaks. Well, I pulled this kid named Luka Doncic, cracked ice out of Contenders Basketball last night. It's probably one of the better ones I've pulled. Saquon Barkley, earlier today, autograph. That's a good rookie. Christian Kirk, nice Christian Kirk for TC and the Cardinals. Last spot mojo. It is indeed, Tice. I think Optic 7 still on the site, right? OJ Howard. Alex Collins. I think you got a... You missed the first half, Tice, but you're just in time for the second half. You, the only thing Seahawksy wise, there's Deron Payne, was the downtown Russell Wilson card. That, and it was a nice downtown Russell Wilson insert. I think we haven't really seen any Seahawks since box one, so you really haven't missed much. Except for, you know, just seeing the other hits for the other guys. All right. All right, folks, we are halfway through this full case break. Pick your team number six, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I see six orders coming in as well on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We have another full case available of Donner's Optic Football with a uh, St. Nick gift opportunity in that next Optic Football as well. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and then we'll post some more. After that, we think we have some more cases of Donner's Optic Football. So this break will be done in about half an hour or so if you're watching live, about a half an hour from now. And by the time I tuck this break away, put away, print out the name tag labels and all that stuff, that should bring us around around uh, 15, 20 minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are in the world. And then, I don't know, maybe something else will fill up here. Anything else getting close? That Bowman's Best sellout, maybe, perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Contenders Basketball is down to 10, ladies and gentlemen, so that's almost in single digits. That just came out yesterday. Um, Bowman's Best Baseball is indeed down to three. First to fill, first to break. That might be our next one right there. So those are the next two closest breaks. Elite Extra Edition uh, in single digits as well. We've got two more uh, autographed jersey boxes in the store right now, ladies and gentlemen. So check that out. 20 bucks gets you two teams. And 11 teams left in another full caser of contenders. Um, check that. 11 teams left in another full case of Donner's Optic Football. Too much stuff on the site. We got uh, the, the Prism Basketball Mixer is also down to 12 teams. That's almost in single digits. You can pick your team there for more hoops. Prism Basketball is incredible as well. Almost as good as the Contenders, if not better in some cases. Both products are great. Contenders and Prism. People will hang on to those. Those, those are the ones that people grade. Those are the ones you find in buyback products. All that stuff. What's my favorite sport to unbox? All of them, Jack. All of them. Whatever sells out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I love to do. Dallas Goddard out of 199. Yeah, Dave Barrow is pushing that uh, contenders at basketball. There's a nice Calvin Ridley. It's a good one for the Falcons. Jaden. There you go, Jaden. Jaden and the Dirty Birds. 
Gets the 8 out of 25, Calvin Ridley. That's a catch for sure. So we got Christian Kirk and Calvin Ridley on a couple bird teams. So a couple nice uh, receivers there. There's Bradley Chubb to 99. Downtown, another downtown, Sam Darnold for Rick Barker and the Jets. We just got to find some ink for you now, Rick. All right, that'll, that would do. But another downtown for you. They do look great, Rick. I, I love that downtown design. I would, I, would, I would actually consider building a set of that, right? That would be pretty cool. That would be a fun chase. Chase all the downtowns. From downtown. And there's Rogers to 50 for the Packers. David Shaw. All right, next box. Five autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four here, one there. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting in. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Who is uh, who is the offensive rookie of the year? Saquon Barkley, Baker Mayfield. Sam Darnold started off the season pretty hot against the Lions in like week one or two. I feel like he was on track. That would have been cool. Still finished the season okay. In spite of having kind of no weapons around him. Baker Mayfield? It's got to be Baker, right? Saquon Barkley would certainly be in the conversation. Next box. No one else has any thoughts? Like I, everyone agrees it's Baker Mayfield. All right. Consensus. On a 299, Auden Tate. Traquan Smith to 25 for the Saints. Karen with the Saints in this one. Ian Thomas to 19. Jaden's got some thought. My guardians imagine what Saquon do with could do with a good offensive line. Maybe like like last year's Dallas Cowboys offensive line. That would be crazy. Tyree Kill to 149. Where do the Giants go from here? Is Eli man? I don't know what Eli's contract situation is. Is he is he done? This guy's locked up. You know they got Saquon Barkley. Maybe are they drafting a QB? It's Kirk Cousins. They've drafted QBs. Kyle Oletta has been drafted, and I think Davis Webb. I think the year before. I don't know if those guys are even on the team, but is there a good QB that that's gonna that's gonna come out this year? Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? That's an RPA Saquon Barkley. 
And that goes to Michael Gallucci and the New York Football Giants. There's your one per case, RPA. It's a nice one, Mike. You're welcome, Seal Curtain. There he is. Nice. Scared money don't make money, ladies and gentlemen. Fortune favors the bold. Be bold on the next break, boys and girls. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Someone has to get these hits. All right. Good luck, everybody. Solid case so far. Maybe another big rookie or two would make this a great case. Have not pulled a Baker Mayfield today, Jack, but we have before. And Jaden was saying earlier, before we were rudely interrupted by Saquon Barkley RPA, Jaden was saying, uh, sadly, the pool this year in the draft for QB isn't very deep. What, what, what is Eli's contract status? Is this his last year, or does he have, does he have one more? He's got one more. He's got 2019, and then he's an undrafted or unrestricted free agent. Interesting. So maybe, maybe they, unless Eli decides to retire, maybe they, maybe he just work on other parts of the team, you know, grind out, uh, you know, pick up some other, other guys in the, in the draft, offensive line, kind of the, the non sexy but very important positions, offensive line, defensive line kind of thing in the draft. Defensive help in general. And then maybe the following year, you try to chase that quarterback. I think Tua will be in the draft next year, right? Not this year, but the following season. Next autograph is Kike Kuti, rated rookie autograph for the Texans. Lou with the Texans. 63 out of 75. He was having a solid season. There's Explosion DeAndre Hopkins. Those are some fun inserts. There's Kalen Bellage for the Dolphins to 149. Jordan Thomas to 299. Poor Alex Smith at a 299. Out of 149, David Johnson. I don't know, where are the Ravens? I feel like we haven't seen a big Raven, Raven hit in a while. Downtown Antonio Brown. Look at that. Michael Gallucci. With his Steelers, Steel Curtain. Love those downtown cards. Downtown Antonio Brown. That's exactly what downtown Pittsburgh looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Michael? Michael works downtown. Looks exactly like that, right? Exactly. There's Luke Falk out of 199 for the Titans. <laughs> Michael says yes. That's exactly what it looks like downtown. All right, next box. Uh, Jaden was saying Tua not going to be a star NFL quarterback. No? Why? 
I mean, I, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of college football, so I, I, I and I'm no scout, so I know this. I, I, I can confidently say I know the sport pretty well, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't give you any decent analysis on, on how that, uh, on how college skills translate to NFL skills. Once they're in the NFL, I could probably, you know, do a decent job. Everyone does projections for their own fantasy teams and whatnot. So, but that college, college to to pros, that I just don't know. I don't watch enough college football. Mark Mark says Tua will be a star. There's been some rumblings around around uh, Raiders blogs and whatnot that that Tua will be a Raider, or that's what the Raiders are trying to go for. Jaden saying Bama hasn't ever produced a star quarterback. What makes us think differently this time? Yeah, what what does make us think differently this time? Mark's argument is that, hey, completely different offense with him. Can't compare it to any quarterback from Bama before. Get the air out of here. I have the trash can. All right. And, well, there it is. EA. Hayden Hurst, Black Velocity, on-card auto for EA and the Ravens. The Purple Birds. 14 out of 25. There's Devontae Boyd to 99. <laughs> Dave Barrow says, what about Joe Namath? But yeah, I mean, that, that was like a thousand years ago, though. <laughs> Did Bart Starr go to Alabama too? EA saying? I didn't realize that. I'm not good with the college with the college thing. No, yeah, I, th I think Jaden went. Hey, another downtown Russell Wilson, Tice. Looks exactly like the first one you got. But this time you see it live. It's exactly what downtown Seattle looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Wrong Raven says he. Well, at least it's a Raven, though. Better than a skunk. Dante Pettis to one ninety nine. Miles Garrett to two ninety nine. Landon Collins to one forty nine. I feel like that Hayden Hurst would be cooler if the uh, you know if the Ravens didn't have like eight tight ends <laughs> that they're playing regularly. Cedric Wilson Jr. Nice low number though. Adam Thielen to two ninety nine. And there's Minka behind there. All right, two boxes to go. Then we're going to see who's going to win one of those gift boxes behind me. All right, good luck, everybody. Two boxes to go, two autographs to go, prize box to give away, and then we'll go through about six orders it looks like here, and then we'll see what direction we're going to go next. Did I use some green in there? Rick's, Rick's wishing they had two autos per box. 
Like, uh, I think baseball has, Donner's Optic Baseball has two autos per box, right? Plus hot boxes. I don't know why they didn't do the hot box thing this year for this football. I don't mind the one auto per box. I think that makes, uh, I think that, you know, kind of gi gives it a, ideally it gives it a sort of tighter checklist. But I do wish that there were, there were, uh, I do wish that there were hot boxes. Like a parallel hot box and then an autograph hot box. Maybe put like three autos in a hot box, something like that. Next box. Good luck. Uh, there's another Raven. Not the not the Raven that EA. What Raven could EA be looking for? Is this, is, is this the right Raven? Jordan Lasley. Everyone loves Jordan Lasley out of seventy five. For EA and the Purple Birds. There's James Washington, out of one forty nine. Oh come on, cards. There we go. So have one more chance, Eric. <laughs> the back felt different on that. It's just the same. There's Kyle Letta. Is this guy going to get a shot? They drafted him. May, may as well see what he see what he can do. There's Leonard Williams to 199. Nice Leonard Williams. There's David Johnson to 99. Fans of the game, and there's the green. It's Simi Cobbs Jr. Five out of five for Michael Gallucci and the Redskins. All aboard! Whoop whoop! There it is. Train whistle. There's Landon Collins to 299 for the New York Football Giants. And Dion Kane. Last box coming up. Last box and the prize. Jose, I did win my fantasy league. Thank you for asking. Made a uh, made a little bit of uh, made, made a little bit of money. We're doing uh, winning that. Thank you. Yeah, I I beat my buddy in the final. I had the second most points. Scored in the league. So it was pretty strong. I was happy with it. It was kind of an ugly last week, though. I think average scores have generally been pretty high in our league. We have a two-quarterback league. So average league scores, probably, well, if I scored... I don't know. I think average league scores were probably like... Well over, you know, 110 points a, a game. I mean, in the final week, there were guys that, that scored 160 points, 150 points, 167 points, 165 points, 115 points. But in the, champ, in the final, I only scored 97 points. My opponent scored only 90 points. 
It was probably the lowest score. It is the lowest scoring game. Maybe second lowest scoring game of all the games in my fantasy league this week. Second place gets money too. But what 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 hurt? Philip Rivers only scored three points. I had Br Breeze, Rivers, Dalvin Cook, John Kelly, because Gurley was out. Julio Jones, Brandon Cooks, Mike Williams, Evan Ingram, Latavius Murray, Justin Tucker, Cowboys defense. He had Keenum, Trubisky, Alfred Blue, Zenner, Hopkins, Cooper, Cortland Sutton, Jared Cook, Reuben Foster. Not Reuben Foster, some Foster. Zerline and the Chargers defense. It was just a bad week for both of us overall. <laughs> no one was scoring. No, I don't know actually how he got to the championship game. Oh, you lost 150 to 129? Do you get... Were you, were you, was this a money league, Jose? You get something for second place? Second place gets something in our league. Antonio Callaway to 199. Browns. Jabril Peppers, another Brown, to 50. Downtown, Anthony Miller for the Bears. There's Jair Alexander to 50 for the Packers. Packers card going to David Shaw. And the downtown, Anthony Miller for Jaden and the Bears. Anyone else uh, win their fantasy league or place? In their fantasy leagues? Win, play, show? In their fantasy leagues? Anyone doing week 17 for their for their fantasy league? Last week of the season? I feel like most leagues don't do that, right? It's Phillip Rivers. There's Deshaun Watson. Jose says, I, I, I messed up. Starting Mayfield instead of Watson. And then if he started McGuire in the flex instead of Cooks, he would have won 155 to 150. And there's Baker Mayfield. Boom. Nice Baker Mayfield for Rich and the Browns. It's a nice last auto of the box. 27 out of 125. Rich Wojtasek. I hope I, hopefully I didn't butcher that, Rich. But there you go. Congrats, Rich W. Possibly your uh, offensive rookie of the year. Probably your offense for you with your EA saying I was second all season and then lost in the first round. Oh, thanks to Derrick Henry going off for 60 points in his league. But he's like, at least his Titans won. I left this guy on the bench. I was lucky to win. <laughs> all right, there you go. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who wins the gift from Jaspies to you. Eligible to the people that joined this break. So let's go to random.org. Let's bring up a blank list here. Everyone has a shot. From TC down to Gallucci. Let's get the names in here. And let's grab another list, another blank list, and grab the remaining boxes. We only have... Four, five, and 13 remaining. And let's randomize the list. Lucky seven, six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, seven times. And it's Michael Gallucci after seven times. There you go. Sure, KE. Um, congrats to Michael. And now, after seven times, let's see the box numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Box 13 after seven times. Michael, good luck, Steel Curtain. Yeah, great break for Mike. And the prize. Merry Christmas. There you go. Happy holidays and all the like. Lucky 13? Seal curtain?
still Christmas here at Jaspies. We got two gifts left, boys and girls. So check it out. I think the, the Dynasty Random Player break and another Optic Football break is eligible for the final two prizes. It's gonna be, ah, nice. That's the that's the current 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball. This looks like retail edition, right? Yeah. Nice. That's good. Get a get a silver Luka Doncic. Let me like another hundred, two hundred dollars. So there you go, folks. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.